Mohale's first book explores the ripple effects of the past coming back to haunt the present. The Yearning has also earned Mohale a spot on the shortlist for the UJ Literary Prize. BETA list caught up with the talented writer to hear what inspired the novel and her plans for the future. Hi, BETA list. I'm Mohale Mashukha. Welcome to my world of The Yearning. The journey of creating The Yearning started in 2006 and I was working in advertising and I hated my job. So I started writing it to distract myself from my job. And then when I got a job in radio, I liked my job so I didn't have to distract myself. And I abandoned the yearning for a while. So there was no writer's block. It's just a process that took from 2006 to 2016. When I was writing it, I was in the middle of the worst kind of depressive episode I've ever had. Writing quiets the pain, it quiets the the depression so I just kept writing for little moments of peace so really if it wasn't for the yearning I wouldn't be here the novel has caught the eye of many influential writers including South African legend Zeg Simda who wrote the books forward Maruvini is from Soweto so am I uh, she lives in Cape Town so do I she has a little brother so do I she has a boyfriend and I don't <laughs> besides those few things her story is her story and mine is you know, still developing. So I'm gonna read um, the intro, the prologue, whatever fancy terms they use for this. The yearning never stops till we embrace everything that brought us here. In our quiet denial, the yearning devours us. It's called the yearning because every single character in the book is yearning for something. So I hope that when people get to the end of the yearning, they go, that was a crazy ride. It was a lot. A lot of people have said to me, are you turning the yearning into a movie? And I was like, I just write books. I don't know how this works. So yeah, people want it to be a movie, but I just wrote the thing. So if somebody wants to turn it into, you know, a film, they want to write a screenplay with me, call me. <laughs> call me.